in is because it's got those orange walls matches her tattoo we usually do some photo shoots hi and it's well, no, hi welcome to b-movie mania thanks for joining us i'm mike hayes my name is paul brooks tonight on the show uh we have two films for you we usually do two films tonight is no different uh and uh we have a theme tonight Sometimes if, you, if you've watched the show before, you've noticed that uh, we have themed episodes from time to time. And tonight, we're doing ninja movies, which I'm really excited about. Mike, are you excited about the ninja movies, or...? Paul, I will show you excitement! This is excitement! Hi, Paul. Oh, it's still you. Yeah, I'm a ninja. You're just a ninja. Okay, all right. right. Did I ever tell you I was a ninja? No, I, I no, I don't think so. We've known each other a long time. I didn't know that. Yeah, like two years. Well, it's a it's a good look. I like it. It's good. It's thank you. Yeah. It's intimidating too. Well. Okay, so all what? Right. Uh, what? Uh, movie. You're the expert. You're clearly the, the expert. What are we? What are we talking about here? Probably this guy. Oh yeah. We are talking about Ninja the Protector. Dun, dun, dun. That's a good looking VHS tape right there. It's a good looking movie. Well, well, yeah, no, that's that's a, that's a subjective. <laughs> uh, fun to watch. Written, Super fun to watch. Written and directed by Godfrey Ho. Legend of our time. Legendary, this man. Would you like to read the back? Hell yeah. Ninja the Protector. Huge, huge quantities of forged banknotes are making their way into society. A special unit headed by Ninja Jason Hart is set up to stop the responsible gang. After undercover agent Warren Lee unsuccessfully infiltrates the gang, it becomes clear that the ultimate battle lies only between Jason and the leader of the gang, who is also a ninja. The breathtaking culmination is a brilliant showdown between ninja and ninja. Born a ninja, live a ninja, die a ninja, the legend prevails in deadly samurai fashion. Color, 92 minutes. <laughs> this is a terrible masterpiece. <laughs> yes. Yeah, um, so a little bit of background maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, this film was directed by Godfrey Ho, who has done approximately 150,000 ninja movies. Yeah. That's that's accurate. Yeah, it's it's this is this was a really fun movie. Um, first, for, first off, the soundtrack is the best soundtrack that has ever been produced in the history of film mm -hmm. or the history of time. Even before movies came out, yeah, you know, people were singing songs mm -hmm. and writing songs, mm -hmm. and this is this. Tops everything. Caveman ain't got nothing on this. Nothing. Absolutely brilliant music in this film. How, how do you, where to begin? I don't know. It's there's there's a bad guy ninja who's in like a red ninja garb. Yeah, he's white. Very white. He's very with, white. With eyeliner. To live the life of a ninja is a sacred way to live. 
He's a ninja. They, they don't, well, they don't like black out the face that you can see through the, like the eye hole area. <laughs> it's just eyeliner. Why don't you have eyeliner on? Because I didn't have not? time. Oh. And you had to do the show and everything. We're on a production schedule. This guy, the the main bad guy in this movie, who's in red, he's really good at cutting up fabric. Yeah. <laughs> but you make it look more interesting than what he does. Because when he does it, it's very much like a... <laughs> yeah. And he has what I want to call resting bored face. Because mm. everything happening is just his face just looks, his eyes are droopy. And he's just like, what? Yeah. He's like pouting almost a little bit. Doesn't like look, in every scene. Doesn't look interested. He needs no. like a new line of work. Because yeah. he just looks burnt out. He seems like he's bored being a ninja. Right. We have finished the mission. Right. Well done, everyone. The main thing that I want to talk about with this movie is that and I've never seen anything like this before. But within this world, within the universe of Ninja the Protector, ninjas don't exist? Well, according to him, they don't exist. Nin ninjas are on the same level as unicorns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Richard Harrison is like with the government and he has like a team. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> and he does this thing where, like, he's got to catch these bad guys, right? Mm-hmm. And so his team doesn't know that he's a ninja. Not only do they not know he's a ninja, they don't know what ninjas are. Right. They like, literally say, what's a ninja? Uh, Black Dog said something about a ninja. What's a ninja? <laughs> Just a fairy tale. They don't exist. You said unicorns. It's not even that level. Everyone's heard because of a we unicorn. we know what unicorns yeah. are. You just don't think they exist. Right. This is a level of like something you've never heard of. Like if some mystical, someone told you about some mystical like thing. A, like a Krampus. Is it a sure. Krampus? What's a Krampus? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, that's exactly what that would be. What's a Krampus? But Richard Harrison's character magically transforms into a ninja, much as you did. Well, I'm talented. You're very talented. You know the way of the ninja, so yeah. maybe you understand better than I do. But he transforms into a ninja and then catches ninjas by handcuffing them yeah. and then leaves them like in random parks. Yeah, always his, a park. Always a park. For his team to catch. <laughs> my present hmm? and they're yeah. like what is this yeah it's, he he assigns his team his crack team <laughs> to be like all right we got these guys we gotta catch this guy this guy this guy and then he goes out and single-handedly defeats these ninjas handcuffs them to like a playground equipment <laughs> and, and then calls them and says hey i got a secret tip for you Go to Green Park, there's a surprise for you. Wait a minute, who is this? Hey. And then they go and they catch this weirdly dressed person. But why is he dressed like this? So Tim Heidecker's in the film. Yeah, it seems you'd think he was. One of his early roles. His first role, probably. He's, he's part of the crack team that you mentioned. <laughs> yeah. We've made a few arrests, but they're only small fry. And he's one of the guys that goes and catches the ninjas mm -hmm. and then takes like all of the credit. He's like, we really like we got this guy like it was, you know, like we we beat him up and all this stuff. But Richard Harrison's character knows that obviously they didn't because he did it because he handcuffed him when, yeah. he, when he was in ninja mode. Yeah. Um, it's not Tim Heidecker, by the way. He well, looks so much like him. It could be. It's not. But Could it be looks, his dad. It's 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 a doppelganger. I mean, it's yeah. so close. It looks a lot like him. If you're a girl and you're watching the film, you won't want to have sex with men anymore. No. After seeing this film. No, not at all. Particularly the Tim Heidecker character. No, 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 yeah, no. You're just swearing off men for a while. Maybe. 
you know, switching teams at least to, to see whether or not it works out. Sure, sure. It's really interesting, all these ninjas, yeah, don't you think? I mean, there's... Oh. Let's talk oh, about yeah. let's talk about David. Oh, David. Dave, there's a there's a at some point in the film there's a big problem with David. And David is just a character in the film. He's someone's brother, I think, right? It doesn't it matter. It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters David! is that people David. <laughs> David. <laughs> David. Whenever he's whenever he's David! around, people call him David, David! every 2.5 seconds. Not joking. Paul, put together a little montage of every time, oh, this is going to be awful to do, but put together a montage of every time people say David in this movie. Uh, David! 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 And then drink every time that happens and, and then go to the hospital. Yeah. David! Uh, piece of advice, Ninja the Protector, look it up. I do have it on VHS, I do have it on DVD as well. Uh, I accidentally bought it because I didn't realize that I already had it on VHS. So if you want to borrow the DVD, just call me, uh, tweet, tweet at me. Here's my Twitter right here. If you're a producer in Hollywood, just tweet at me and, and I'll let you, you know, whatever. What do you think of the movie? How, what, how would you rate it? I, I, I really enjoyed it. I really did. The, it was it was for all its stupidity. It was a ton of fun to watch, and it's yeah. it's the type of it's the type of bad B movie that you can get a few friends together uh, and just really have a good time with it. So I am going to go two hands that come together like this to shoot a bow and arrow. Just like on the cover. See that? Oh yeah, that's how he's doing it. Yeah. I don't know if that happens in the movie. There is a climactic motorcycle fight. I was just realizing we didn't talk about the motorcycle fight. Let's talk fight. about the climax. Before we get to your rating, let's yeah. talk about the climactic motorcycle fight and the amazing ending. No. I'm kind of tempted to just show the ending. It's, it'd be worth it. It would be worth it. I am the champion of the ninjas. <laughs> it is fantastic. Uh -huh. Um, yeah. What do you give this movie, Mike? I give this movie a rating. I would, I would, I would hope so, since that's a, a fairly basic requirement of this show. Paul, the rating I give this film is one hand, two hands coming together. You can't do the same thing as me. I'm not. To give a nice, ah, respectful bow. Very nice. That's very respectful of you to do that. Well, you know, I'm a ninja. You're a ninja. Yeah, that yeah, makes that makes a lot of sense. Just trying to be respectful to my brethren. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. We both enjoyed it, and it really was, you know, very insightful in terms of the, the ninja lifestyle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey. Right now, we're going to throw it to our main man, Tim, who's out on the street trying to see what other people have to say about this film that we just watched, Ninja the Protector. Tim, what's going on out there, buddy? You know, Mike, Paul, you sent me out to these weird places, and it's the middle of the night, and I don't know what you two expect me to be doing out here. There's nobody here. 
And uh, quite frankly, I'm a little sick of it. Well, I'm sorry. I, th I thought, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't want you to be uncomfortable or anything out there. I don't want you to be upset. Well, I am. Well, do you want to, I mean, do you want to come here and, and review the next movie? Like, that's totally fine if you want to do that. I don't want you to feel left out or anything. Well, you know, it would feel nice to be a part of the group for once. Come on over. Come here right now. Get in a cab or something and come right here and we'll talk about the next movie. Come here. Well, all right. I'll be right there. You know what? Ninja Mike is going to pop out for a second. Our main man, Tim, if it's okay with you, Ninja oh, that's Mike. That's fine. That's great. Our main man, Tim, is going to join us to talk about our next film, Ninja Hunt. Mike, we'll, we'll talk to you later. All right. Bye. Whoa. Holy cow. Hey, hey, come on in. Tim's here. Hey, thanks for coming out. Have a seat, have a seat. Just sit right here. Okay. I know you're not used to this. I know you're used to being on the street. This is... Just get comfortable. How you doing? Uh, you know, streets are tough. I bet. I, you know, I'm, I'm, I really appreciate everything that you do out there for us. I thought it might be nice to, to get you in here to talk about a movie, get you off the street for a little bit. You know, it's good to get out of that uh, harsh climate. Yeah, it's rough out there. I apologize for that. That's, you know, that's okay. Well, talk about this, uh, this movie. You've, see, you've seen it, right? Yeah. What is it? It's right down here. Pick it up. A little something called Ninja Hunt. Ninja Hunt. Ninja Hunt. that there are two covers oh yeah that's true show that to the viewing audience I got this would this would technically be the front right but it's actually the back of it because it has the description and then the back would be the front because it, it has like no way this is the villain <laughs> yeah the villains on the on the back it's just this it, it, the cover doesn't make sense yeah but you watched this movie, uh, you've seen this movie at some point, right? Yeah. What'd you think? <laughs> it's great. What is the, what is the, Can I read it? Yeah, what does the cover say? I like, I like the read. Uh, it says Ninja Hunt. The hunt is on, and it's their turn to run. Whose? Oh, I, the, don't, I don't know. The ninjas, or? I, I would assume. Uh, Ninja Hunt, yeah. Uh, when a gang of terrorists... Yeah get their hands on a secret formula. The CIA retaliates by sending out their own secret weapon, Ninja Master, Ninja Master Gordon, Richard Harrison. Right. A relentless chase gives way to a brutal ninja warfare as Gordon battles to the death to retrieve the formula. Color, 92 minutes. Fifty nine ninety nine price tag on this, and I'm not even joking. Uh, I believe Mike and I paid fifty cents for it at uh, the Family Video on Main Street. Also, prices slightly higher in Canada. I'm okay, told. Okay, that'll happen. Now, the formula. Let's talk about the formula really quick sure. because it's pretty interesting. It's like a super soldier formula. Have you ever heard of that ten? <laughs> it's the formula invented by Dr. Mo. It boosts the morale of fighting soldiers. One, boosts soldier morale. You know, when you're in battle, you get a little bummed out. Yeah. Because you're killing people. Yeah, it sucks. And you're sad. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. You get, you get sad. And so this is to help make you feel a little happy. Two. Two, uh, it turns you into a ruthless killer. <laughs> it does more than that, Gordon. It activates the killing desire in a human being. So not only are you are you just feeling good, <laughs> but you also want to kill things. Both of these films, Ninja the Protector and Ninja Hunt, star Richard Harrison. Yeah. They're in the they're in the same sort of vein. The difference though with Ninja Hunt is that 
it was spliced together. Richard Harrison, his scenes are shot completely separately and they just sort of piece it together with what seems to me and we've debated this it seems to me to be an existing chinese film that they put american actors into rachel it's been a long time i've missed you are you all right you smoke now it isn't good for you how's our son billy he must be about 11. because ninja hunt for probably 70 or 80 percent of it is not a ninja movie yeah there it, not only is richard harrison spliced in but ninjas are yeah there's no ninjas in this film other than when richard harrison is battling either this guy or his like minions yeah this guy is trying to stop us do you know who he is Bron? he's gordon anderson cia He's also a ninja, ninja hunter. I don't like people getting in my way. Other than that, it's it's a basic kind of crime film. Well, you you put it perfectly. It's about an orphan. Yeah, it's about a, a street orphan. Mom, where did you go? is hanging out with like a cab driver. Yeah. <laughs> it's a real coming of age tale. You wait here, I'll go in. Hey! What's wrong? I wanna come in. You? Interspersed with brief ninja interludes yeah. of uh, absurdity. to put it i mean here you got richard harris on the cover wearing his cam his classic camo ninja gear with a headband that says ninja yeah just so you know that they exist real subtle stuff can i suggest that the actual main plot of this movie is about a stolen taxi cab <laughs> yeah <laughs> Hey! I, I would really actually be interested to see the original Chinese version because I feel like it's probably not a bad film. A man fights off gangsters yeah. for vengeance on his stolen taxi. No ninjas involved. No. Not even really any kung fu. No, it's kind of a street brawl. Like there's some fighting, but there's no like, there's certainly no ninjas. And there's no one disappearing. There's no one doing this whole thing like Ninja Mike does. Yeah, I don't... How did, I mean, he, good how on he, him. How does he do that? I don't know. Good on him. But there's none of that going on in the regular whatever the... You know... It's... It's strange. It's confusing. Yeah. yeah. But ultimately, it's, it's kind of wonderful. I agree. You fell asleep during the end. That is true, I fell asleep. You missed it. After we're done here, we should probably just go check it out again. Well, just tell me what happens. Uh, well, Richard Harrison's character fights this guy. The guy who looked like a scorpion from Mortal Kombat? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, 
but also like a Dragon Ball Z character. Hmm. <laughs> With this formula, we should get at least 10 million. The formula that Richard Harrison is after, the, f the formula that everyone is after, is on what looks to be like a beta tape. Oh yeah, that was weird, because they keep referring to uh, having the cassette tape. Right. Where is it then? It's here. Winner takes all. They're like chucking the tape like into tree branches and then like sh sword sheaths get chucked into tree branches. They, they, have, they start this weird fascination obsession with chucking things into tree branches. <laughs> Yeah, go check it out. Okay. There's a lot of slow mo. There's a lot of intense ninja action, and it's 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 quite the climax. <laughs> I enjoyed this film. Uh, I, I would like to rate it typically on the show. At the end, we we do a rating, and typically what we do is Wait, it's a what, what? it's a two hand system. You rate films? Well, yeah, that's kind of it's a movie review. It's a B movie review huh. show. I mean, I guess I've never seen it. Yeah, well, I'm always out on the street. Right, yeah, and and I'm glad that you can be here for this. Yeah. So let's rate the film. Wow. Uh, I enjoyed it. It wasn't perfect. So what I'm going to do is give it one hand and one karate chop. Wait, no. I'm going to give it four fingers and one karate chop. <sighs> And then you come up with, you know, whatever you want to do. Something kind of like half, halfway clever like that. I'm going to, you know, Paul, I did fall asleep. Yeah. But I was enjoying it. Right. Um, but to me, this is more of a story about the child of a prostitute <laughs> and just a down-on-his-luck cabbie. So I'm going to give it a couple of these. Like I'm driving a taxi cab. Oh, okay. Hey, you're giving it two, two, two grips on a steering wheel. <laughs> two clutch I'm hands. I'm giving it a ten and a two. <laughs> a ten and a two. I love it. Well, hey, listen. I'm glad that you could. Um, I'm glad that we could get you off the street for a little bit so that you could be on the show. Yeah, it's cold out. It is a little cold out there. You know. Hopefully, uh, you don't have any hypothermia or anything like that. Mm. You okay? We'll get you checked out. Do we have insurance? No. All right. Okay. I guess I gotta go. Yeah, can you go? Uh, we need you for the next thing. Yeah, I, all right. Don't, yeah, take the microphone off because some people forget to do that. Hollywood. This, yeah, you know, it's, we try to be as professional as we can. Well, okay. You know, this was fun. It was fun. Thanks for coming out. If you if you need anybody for anything ever, yeah, uh, I'm just out on the street. Okay. So I'll. Bye. I will let you know. Thank you though. Okay. Thanks for being here. Mm. Mm. Whoa. Hi. Hey, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time on B Movie Mania! Where did you get that? Did, did, did you? I went out. It's a oh, man. To, to, you know, to, to be a ninja. To be a ninja. Who put these on you? Huh. Only a ninja can defeat a ninja. What's a ninja? <laughs>